What's going on guys? I'm Violent with Grizz Zombies. Welcome to our very first game update for Raven the Redwoods. This is going to be a combined patch notes video between a game update and also a playlist update that also happened. The playlist update is double keys. This is we're going to have a double keys weekend starting February 3rd and lasting till February 6th. So we still got a few days left in this double keys weekend by the time this video is updated and uploaded. So we have some general fixes that weren't very important to zombies so we're gonna skip over those we have a ton of weapon balancing that happened so I'm gonna clearly explain those here in just a second and then between zombies in Spaceland and Rave in the Redwoods we had quite a few fixes so if you've never seen a video like this before I break it down in a way that no other youtuber does so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future updates as we move along and patch notes as we move along through our campaign from Infinite Warfare. When you hear me talk about campaign with the zombie season, and what I'm talking about is the DLC season is the campaign that they're putting on. So to start things off with the weapon balancing, we have the Hailstorm. And what happened with the Hailstorm? The Hailstorm, if you didn't know, is a wall buy that you can get in Zombies in Spaceland and also in Raven the Redwoods. It has decreased fire time between burst and slight increase to damage range. So the further away that you shoot, the more damage you're going to do and the fire rate between bursts has been decreased. The next one on the list is the DMC-8, slightly increased damage and damaged range. So the damage has been buffed on this weapon. You know, not a fan, not really a fan of this weapon at all. The, the other thing is there's a variant called the Mosokeist, and this is a life link perk updated as a larger magazine size and taking damage fully regenerates the mag. So if you have that variant of the DM, DCM-8, that is changed. The next weapon is the Banshee, and if you have the Siren version, the Shockwave perk, there's been an update to that. Improved damage while sliding. Damage causes hear loss. I can only assume that the hear loss comes from a concussion wave that is shot when you shoot the Banshee. The next weapon is the EBR-800. If you have the Osiris version, you have the Hunter Killer perk. There's been an update to that. There's no sniper glint. Enemies at low health are highlighted. So this is a pretty cool update. And if you guys like the sniper rifle, this is the one for you. Now the Kindle, the Kindle 44. This is another pistol that you can purchase. Sometimes it's a wall buy. Specifically in Zombies in Spaceland, it is a wall buy. I'm not sure. I have not seen it in Rave in the Redwoods. But what changed on the Kindle 44? If you have the variant called the Cartel, you will see that the secondary perk changes to stability. The other thing that changed is another one called Advantage. If you have this variant, the second perk changed to Steady instead. So a couple perk changes on the Kindle 44 if you have the different variants. So the DMR1, the Spectacle version, the Reflex perk. The built-in custom Reflex site now has a tracking chip and improved ADS time for all scopes. So the DMR did get an update. The Rack 9, if you have the Smoothbore uh, version, one shot kill zone at mid range now includes lower torso and upper arms. So the one shot kill range at mid range shots for this has been changed and now updated. I'm just getting used to these weapons, so if I stagger at any points while I'm reading these to you, just know that I'm getting used to these weapons and I will become the guy for the patch notes for all these weapons. So. This information is very good. The Mauler, if you have the Mammoth version, the slower aim down sights now and reduces movement speed. So it's been nerfed and overall the nerf has happened to the Mauler. There's no buff. The Mac Tav 45, this is one of those special weapons, is slight increase to recoil when firing ADS. And so this has a lot of recoil to begin with and now there's even more. And so this has been buffed when it comes to the recoil. The M1, the M1 is awesome, especially in Rave and the Redwoods. Slight decrease to return speed when firing to ADS. So if you stop shooting and then getting your way back to shooting again, that has been decreased, which is kind of a crappy thing because it's one of our starting room weapons in Rave and the Redwoods. The Howitzer is the last weapon that we're gonna be talking about and the direct impact kills have been fixed. Apparently there was a problem with this, and I never used this weapon to begin with, but that's been fixed now, so if you're wondering about the howitzer, it's been looked at. 
The next thing we're going to move into now are the actual changes that happen for Zombies in Spaceland and for Raven the Redwoods. The first thing on our list is a fix for Spaceland camos appearing instead of Rave camos when a player upgraded weapons using a PAP power-up drop. Now I have no clue what a PAP power-up drop is. I didn't know you could get a drop that actually powered up your weapons. I thought you needed Fate and Fortune cards to do that. But it's in here, and apparently people were getting Spaceland camos when they were supposed to be getting Rave camos. That's been fixed. The other one I want to talk about is a fixed issue with Wall Power and Super Minute Man. Now, it's not actually Wall Power. The Fate and Fortune card they're referring to here is called Get Packed. And I know this because I actually went in and tested it. Wall Power is, in fact, a Black Ops 3 gobble gum. And they must have done something weird in the patch notes where they mixed it up. It's called Get Packed. And Get Packed has been glitched ever since Raven the Redwoods came out, but now you can actually use a wall buy and upgrade that gun just by buying it. So Get Packed has been fixed and addressed just so everybody knows and we're clear now. Super Minute Man is the other one that was fixed as well. So what went wrong with Super Minute Man and why are we here now? Other YouTubers have exploited Super Minute Man and it actually allowed you to keep the 60 second pack a punched weapon that you were upgraded to so once you had upgraded to it there was a trick you could do where you could actually keep the weapon and I think also pack a punch a second weapon while doing this glitch so I think it was broken and they fixed it now so it's been addressed and Super Minute Man works for 60 seconds and it's done. The last Fate and Fortune card is called Purify and it did not properly display its in-game effects where it said on activation players and teammates are healed and caused an explosion that deal damage to nearby zombies. So as you can see in the footage it did show up and now it displays properly so you will not have a blank slate and not know what you just popped. For those of you guys dealing with a broken zipline that's also been addressed on occasion players will not be able to melee or crouch after using the zipline this has been fixed. So after you release from the zipline, there was a problem where you couldn't melee or crouch properly. And I'm not sure how long this stuck for, but it's been addressed now and I'm showing you guys here that it does work properly. And now we're going to talk about split screen for a little bit. What all happened with split screen? There was a fix for split screen players not earning keys. There's also another split screen thing where HUDs were fixed. So HUD problems were fixed with split screen. And that's about all for split screen. The harpoon gun kills were not counting towards the assembly required soul challenge. So if you're one of those guys chasing the soul challenges and trying to achieve all of that and get it done, the assembly required for some reason wasn't working with the wonder weapon called the harpoon gun, which we're all considering crossbows. So the assembly required has been fixed. You can now achieve that properly if you'd like. So you'll notice something changed when you push start. When you push start, you'll notice in the lower left corner, we now have a widget that shows the rank progression. That's now viewable in the pause menu. It wasn't there before, but now it is, and we can check when we're about to rank up and how much XP is needed for that next level. So if you didn't already get your highest round using the chainsaw, you're wrong. It's now been fixed. It was an exploit where you could just sit there and hold the chainsaw for a long period of time, and it would never, ever go out. You could just go for as long as the round as you want, and now that has been fixed. Apparently it was an exploit, and I'm here today to tell you guys that it's been fixed. So you'll no longer be able to just use the chainsaw and actually go round around all the way to round 100. So there are several out of the map exploits that were also addressed. And now on to Zombies in Spaceland. There's one fix in specifically in Zombies in Spaceland, which I've told you guys about on Twitter, and also replied to a few comments. Hasselhoff is now a selectable character where you would enter in the code left, right, left, up, down, and now it actually works and you can play as Hasselhoff. So if you have any more questions with that, hopefully it's all been fixed and I try to hear myself, it does work. So there you go. As we know, it's double key weekend. All you guys need to get out there, you have till the 6th in order to complete as many keys as possible to open up all those zombie crates and possibly get a new weapon maybe even clutch yourself one of them mk2 weapons i don't know let me know in the comments below what all goes down your guys this weekend let me know how many keys you were able to rack up and i will see you guys in the next video if you did learn something drop a like and that's about it guys violent out